Thank you, Lord Mayor. Um, like other members here, I've been asked by many people what's going on with Council, and I actually advise them to read the excellent reports of Jane Haynes and other local journalists, because it's been difficult to unravel what's taking place. But what I have seen is a lot of passing the buck. On one side, there's mismanagement of the 2017 bin strike and multiple failures of leadership since. And on the other, there's the impact of austerity. And it's important that neither of these things are dismissed. Political parties of all colours should acknowledge that the 2008 global financial crisis resulted in policies designed to tighten the public purse strings. Cuts to public services, some which began under Gordon Brown, were compounded by the coalition and then the Tory government. And we are now all feeling the consequences. And we shouldn't discount the impact of the significant budget cuts on a council as large as this one. The bin strike of 2017 exposed the breakdown of relations and conflicts of interest between Birmingham Labour and the unions. And clearly some terrible decisions were made. And I've no doubt we will hear a lot more about this in the months to come along with criticism of the current scrutiny process. Indeed, it should have been able to highlight the bad decisions to prevent them becoming disastrous ones. And thrown into that mix were the shocks of Brexit and COVID and the problematic and disastrous implementation of the Oracle system. Finally, the Commonwealth Games. It was a wonderful event and I'm really pleased we did it, but it diverted the attention of officers and councillors for over a year. So, austerity, bad decision-making, lack of accountability, lack of scrutiny, focus on big projects, failing local services. All of these factors generated a perfect storm that has now sadly broken over our proud city. When I was in the police, we used to have a daily briefing to look at the events of previous 24 hours. It was known as the 9am shudders because senior officers used to, used to tell, use it to tell us we should have done this and we should have done that. And this council now faces a 9am shudder of a volcanic scale. The last few weeks have been very depressing. In the council itself, morale seems to be rock bottom and good people are leaving. People are fearful and some are angry. When I was elected last year, I was brimming with ideas that would make the lives of my constituents better. I think most members here felt that way. We don't all agree on policy or ideology, but there was a buzz and I felt a sense of working together for the benefit of the whole city. Though the storm rages, we should all hold on to that. We do need answers and we also need a plan. And that, Lord, Lord Mayor, is, we are just seeing a, a, a glimmer of that today. But we need a plan to stop the bleed and put us back on the right track. I'm naturally an optimistic person. I don't give up on things I care about. That's why I was proud to go to the region on EU March on Saturday. It's while I keep standing up for my community in Moseley. It's while I'll, do, while I'll do my very best to protect them against the pain that is to come. The CEO of Birmingham Chamber of Commerce wrote in the Birmingham Post that despite our woes, the local economy is growing and Birmingham is open for business. Let's not forget our city motto is forward. We can learn from this and we can put things right, but it involves listening, it involves collaboration, it involves change and it involves humility and honesty. And we mustn't forget the citizens of Birmingham who should also be heard and have a say in this recovery plan we owe it to them to get through this and to work together with them to take our city forward. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you, Governor.